so I just wanted to share something today that I don't think necessarily healthy people or relatively healthy healthy people understand because and I'm gonna do a full video about this because I know that like I put out there that I'm I feel like I'm like really low down there we go that's much better um, I feel like I put out there that like I'm sick and like but people were like I don't really know what you're sick with and like what are your symptoms and like why are you disabled and like all these things so I will do a full video like kind of just like explaining that and in the comments down below please leave any questions that you would like to know or that you think would be helpful for me to talk about even like you might know some of the things obviously that I talk about but like if you think that that would be beneficial to elaborate or explain like all my symptoms or something like that just like I would really appreciate it if you would put that in the comments down below so tonight I just wanted to share I was having a very up and down day today and I don't know if you guys go through this but when I come out of a flare, I get really paranoid and like almost really scared and I tend to isolate because I'm afraid that like I'm going to be sent back into a flare if I like do anything. Like if I even like just have a friend come over and like hang out, it like freaks me out because you get like so used to just being inside and like cabin fever and in bed but at the same time like when you start to feel better it's like really hard to like take that step to like get out there and like start doing some things because you're like it's like after you've been sick for a really long time and you're like should I exercise should I go out is it gonna make me feel sick again like am I gonna end up like being sweaty and throwing up and like I don't know so it's like that and part of it is rational and part of it is irrational so but what I wanted to share with you that is very different than normal people because I know what normal people do because I used to be one and I'm talking normal people like I understand that there's no like normal average person and we all have our own struggles but I just wanted to give you a little tiny, tiny glimpse into the small victories that someone that is disabled or deals with a chronic illness deals with. Um, I just sat there and I almost started crying. I was so excited that I was able to put cream on my legs and on my arms. And then I was like, you know what, I need to make a video and talk to, to you guys about this because I, okay, so I took a shower, um, which is why my hair is like so disheveled um, because I have wavy hair and um, I put, so I got to, okay, so these are the things that really get me excited. I got to spray my like curl enhancer thing in my hair. I put mousse. And put that in there. I got to use my Jergens, like self tanner thing on my face, which I've actually never used before, um, because it takes effort and I have to stand there and wash my hands afterwards. And I just, I'm gonna be really honest with you guys right now. Most of the time, I don't have the energy to even brush my teeth at the end of the night. That's why most of my skincare products are not necessarily hanging over the sink because I need to be able to be in bed and um, that's just the reality of that it's super embarrassing for me to talk about that and it seems really gross and but when you're disabled like hygiene it slips so when I'm able to take a shower I wash my hair and I shaved the shaving was like, meh, you, you ladies know what I'm talking about. It was just kind of like, okay, I tried. It was kind of like more for fun, and I ended up like scraping part of all of my skin off my ankle. <laughs> um, it's that, I'm still bleeding from it right now. But um, that, and so like getting out of the shower and just feeling clean, 
I got to put like I use um, like a shower a powder after I shower and um, I found the pajamas that I wanted to wear instead of just what I could find and um, then I uh, got to like put my face stuff on which I you you guys have heard me harp on this nonstop like I love skincare and I'm really into it but as you probably can tell from the past couple videos I've done I had a breakout and you can just tell when I stopped taking care of my skin I started to break out and when I'm fully flared like I don't I'm sorry but it's just not gonna happen like I'd love to I hate that I'm not able to but I can't do like all my skincare stuff I just don't have the energy for it um, I'm go I'd rather use my spoons somewhere else if you don't know what I'm talking about with spoons sometime in the future I'm going to be doing a video for the spoons um, okay so back to what I get excited about I got to brush my hair that's really exciting for me um, I mean, I have really long, super thick hair. That's why part of it is shaved off. Um, part of it because I like the, um, look of it. It's growing out right now. It's like three inches grown out, but I had it buzzed. And, um, part of it was that's kind of cool looking in that I can shave. I actually had it like all the way down all this side so half of my hair was gone and it was so nice because I just I cannot handle my hair and everybody's like well just cut it off. The thing is, is like I cannot live without putting my hair on a ponytail like I just cannot function because that means I actually have to do my hair because my hair is like not like just straight or like gonna go into a style like no um so yeah so that's just is kind of like and I'm trying to grow this out but like the whole time I'm like but do I really want to grow it out because it's not in style anymore like this was really popular when I did it um and I've just I've broken down and cut it like a bunch of times so just taking forever to grow out this part I grew out um, a while ago but <sighs> so after that I got to oh my gosh I got to wipe my glasses which is why like the light is like gleaming off of them um, usually my glasses are like completely clouded and touched and like I sleep on them and it's a mess and I got to clean them and um, just put like cream on my hands and um, I don't know they're just the simple things that like most people are just like their daily or nighttime routines or like their morning routines and it's just so simple and easy and whatever but for me it's very special and rare and I really cherish it and I appreciate when I get to be able to do that and that's kind of like the cool flip side of being chronically ill is because like I don't necessarily know if well I don't know I just said that because I definitely know I did not appreciate being healthy um, and unfortunately I don't think you do fully appreciate being healthy until you're not healthy so um it's kind of like when you get really sick and then afterwards you're like i'm gonna live my life to the fullest and you go out and do all these things and you see your friends and it's like yay but that's not what happens with people that are chronically ill we don't get that yay we get small yays and we take what we can get, but there's not that end light at the end of the tunnel kind of thing. So um, I thought I'd just share kind of some of those things. And um, it may sound stupid, it may sound silly to you, but to me it means the world. And like, I feel like a girl. I feel 
good. I know my hair looks like a hot mess, but this is how I like dry it when it's curly. <laughs> so um, I like put it up in this weird bun contraption thing and just ignore it. But um, yeah, it makes me feel special and makes me feel like I've taken time to actually do something for myself, which I don't really do. Like something that's purely for myself. I know I like videotape myself every day and that seems so narcissistic, but I'm not actually doing that completely for me. I'm doing it for other people, so, um, which I love doing, don't get me wrong. But um, yeah, so I just wanted to share that and uh, maybe put some things into perspective and maybe appreciate those things because I know that I didn't have any friends that were chronically ill. I am so far down. Um, were ill or anything so I just kind of like beat myself up and you know like washing my hair and taking a shower every day and all that kind of stuff like was nothing you know you just do it every day and that's what you do and um and then everything changed and so I just thought I would share that and I don't know it was just on my heart so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up um, if you are not subscribed already, please subscribe when I hit 50 subscribers and plus I will be doing a giveaway and when I hit 50 subscribers, hopefully someone messages me like Julie or Jim because I am so bad with fogged all the time that I have no idea even when I hit these landmarks, but um, Hopefully someone lets me know, or Deeks, or Kyla, or someone <laughs> lets me know when I hit 50 subscribers. But when I do, I will put out a full video about the giveaway and the items. They're sitting right here, all piled up. Um, things, and masks, and lipsticks, and manicures, and red lipstick, and uh, MAC. Yeah, it's going to be fun, and I just want to give back to you guys, so make sure you're subscribed. Um, also, just so you can be updated daily on my videos, and there is an array of different things. Not everyone is talking about little victories. Sometimes I do beauty things. Sometimes I talk about my obsessions with um, True Blood, or um, t I just watched Lesage something county August Asage County like I, I talk about movies or books or whatever that I'm like obsessed with right now and um, or just follow me around to like get my brows done stuff like that so there's a little bit of everything you don't have to watch every single day but of course I would love if you did but uh, yeah so just um, hit the subscribe button and get on board and it's a really fun channel and we really have an awesome network of people please don't be afraid to comment um, I there is not any we're here to be kind to one another and support one another so I hope that's the reception well I know that's the reception you'll get because I will have a, a beat down if you don't <laughs> so um, I hope you guys have a pain free stress free day and as always I'll see you tomorrow Oh, look at my eyeballs. Oh.